Uh, howdy folks, uh, Kathy Williams de Vries here bringing you lesson number 11 in my series on lessons for the beginner clarinet player. Um, I'm working from the Premier Performance Book 1 um, which is available on Smart Music uh, which is the source of the accompaniments. Uh, we've learnt quite a few things. I've learnt notes down to low F and up to B flat, crotchets, quavers, staccato, uh, tempo. Oh, I haven't worried about dynamics yet, but key signatures and key changes. Um, and we'll and also uh, repeats, uh, first and second time bars and da capo. Uh, so we're just going to revise the last piece from our last lesson was Cindy in two keys, where we start in the key of B flat. And then halfway through the piece, we modulate to the key of C, uh, which is up a tone. And that happens in a lot of songs. We've also learnt waltz time, slurs, um, lots of stuff. And uh, we're going to learn uh, so much more. So, uh, let's revise the last song. I'll stick it on a loop so I can play it a couple of times. Um, remember that all the B's in this first line are flat, but there's no sharps or flats in this second half of the piece. note low E um, so I'm, I'm going to teach you both of them so if we're playing a low F what we do is we hit this note here and that's a low E <laughs> If I press this down, these keys go down as well. That's because that's another E. So if you look, it's this one here, and the F goes down as well, doesn't it? And that's a low E as well. So in this next piece, I'm going to play one version of it with this E, and the other version with the other E. I want you to be equally conversant with both. So we're going to start with the left hand E for the first time and the right hand E for the second time. Now, 
We learned about the da capo, da capo al fine in the last lesson, meaning that you go back to the beginning and play through until the fine. Now we have what's a DS al fine, which is dal segno. And uh, you'll notice on the piece of music in the fifth bar, uh, there's a funny sort of squiggly S with a line through it and two dots. That's your segno. So what happens is you play from the beginning all the way through to the DS al fine. Then you go back to the funny squiggly S with the line through it and the dots and play through to the fine. Um, so that's just another version of second time bars, um, but that's for longer pieces of music. And uh, note that we've got the low F and there's a key and a key signature of B flat, so all the Bs are flat. Let me play it through once for you. <laughs> Susanna. Right, we've got a new note, E flat. So we know that um, E is this one. Now E flat has a couple of different fingerings, uh, but for uh, this piece I'll teach you the most used fingering. Um, so to flatten an E, you play a D and then stick on this bottom trill key. Or going from a D to sharpen it to a D sharp. There is another E which is this D with the banana key but uh, we won't use that for this piece. Now, in this particular piece, uh, Julie's Blues, it's a bit like that other blues piece we played. You've got where you had B naturals and B flats. In this one, you have E naturals and E flats. So I'll loop it and we'll play it a few times to give you the hang of it. <laughs> in the bottom line but not the top line. 
Okay, in this next piece up on the housetop, um, we're dealing uh, with um, sort of chords. Because um, along with scales, there is um, there is uh, what we call uh, arpeggios. Because uh, a scale goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Um, but uh, a triad or, a, or an arpeggio, you miss out a couple of notes. You go C, E, G, C. Um, and then in this particular piece, we're in the key of B flat, and we're doing a um, we're doing B flat triads. So notice how we miss out every second note. Um, now we do have E flats in this. Uh, because their key signature of B flat and E flat tells us so. I'll loop this, we'll play this a few times. See, the clarinet's got a few different registers. Um, the register we've been playing in is the Chalamot register and throat tones. And you'll notice that on the last of the notes, B flat, we had a register key. Well, um, it's a bit like a recorder, a saxophone, or a flute. Uh, if you play a low note and then stick the register key on, you're going to get a new note, which unlike flute, it's not an octave higher, it's a twelfth higher. So in this case, a B flat, when you stick on the register key, but keep the thumb down, uh, turns into an F, B flat, F. And we call this register the clarion register, or the upper register. So... <laughs> So it's a new note, F. So what we do is we have plenty of air on the low B flat and then we stick the register key on keeping the thumb down. And you'll probably notice it's a little bit harder to tongue. You need a very soft tongue, uh, but plenty of air support. Let's try this a couple of times. support so 
so you can get that higher note. Now if we play a low A and stick the register key on we get an E. And just watch my thumb. See I barely move it at all but my thumb is just covering the register key. So let's play this a couple of times. This is introducing us to top to the high E. If you play a low C and stick the register key on, you get a G. Make sure there's plenty of air for the low C so that the G comes out easily. piece uh, says to tongue all nights and slur is marked, I would uh, disregard number one uh, because it's hard tonguing up in this register when you're doing it for the first time. I'll get you to, to slur as marked. Lots of air. Okay, now um, <clears throat> we're moving a couple of fingers at a time. At the end of this, um, let's loop this. And we're in 3 4 again. I think we've 
probably done enough for this lesson. Um, yeah, I think I think we've uh, done enough for this lesson. The, the next one's a little hard, and I don't want to um, make things too hard for you. So uh, we'll leave it there. So we've learnt three new notes. Um, and we're going to be come, coming to the end of this book fairly soon too. Um, and I'll probably uh, do some scales with you. So uh, that should be fun. But uh, I hope you've gotten something out of these lessons. Um, I enjoy bringing them to you. Any questions, don't hesitate. Contact me. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.